This video is going to show you how to combine child products with multivariants in Virtumart 3. And the easiest way to show you how to do this and why you would want to do this is just to kind of talk you through the process. So here I am in Virtumart and I'm working on an LED website today. And there's a lot of different products, but I've just entered one um, that's a parent product. And it's actually two separate spotlights, the MR16 and the GU10. But in the catalog, um, they're very similar. They're actually on the same page. They're kind of grouped together. So I've decided I want that to be the case on the website as well. And so I've gone ahead and created a product uh, for both of them. So now I'm going to go in to this product. I'm going to edit it. And here I am on the product information page. And here's the product name. I'm going to leave the product SKU field blank because each of these spotlights, the MR16 and the GU10, has their own SKU. So I'll fill that in um, on their pages. So I'm scrolling down here. And here is the button to add a child product. So I've just clicked on that. And now I'm going to create um, a separate product for the MR16 spotlight. There it is. And now that has its own SKU number, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And that's all I have to do right now for that child product. So I'm just saving and closing that. And now back at the product list here, you can see that we have, there's the original product and there's the child product there. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. So I'm clicking on the original parent again and scrolling down adding another child product and it's really important to remember to go back to the original parent product when you're adding child products because the children can also have children it's an ongoing thing and you can get really lost if you're not careful it's it's a great feature but we don't need to do that today we're just going to have one parent and a number of children so here we are back in the parent uh, we've just created a child uh, and now i'm creating um the GU10 spotlight now, there it is, and that's also got its own SKU. And again, that's all I need to do right now, so saving and closing that. And now you can see we've got two children, there they are. And now when we go to the front end, oh, the one other thing we have to do here, back to the parent, go to the custom fields category there, and you can see that I've turned on, under the custom field type, I've already turned this on, the generic child variant is on. And that means, that's really important, because when I go to the front end, when I go to the website, that means that both my variants, both the different light bulbs, are going to show up. If that wasn't on, um, they wouldn't show up, which would be really frustrating. So you have to have gone into custom fields, created a custom field called generic child variant. You can name it what you like. Um, I've named mine variations. Um, in order for them to show up. I'll show you what I mean. Here's the front end. We go into products. So here's my parent product. Here's both the spotlights together. I click on that and now you see we can choose either spotlight which is great. And when I add more pictures the picture would change depending on which one I clicked on. Now there's one other detail we have to add. It's important. Both of these spotlights come in two different color temperatures, warm white and natural white. And right now, our customer would have no way of knowing that. So now I have to go in. I don't want to create more children. I have to go into those child products, and I have to create a couple of variations. So here's how I do that. I'm going to go back to my back end here, my administration, and back to products. So here are my two children. Now I'm going to leave the parent product alone and I've got to edit the children. So we'll start with the MR16. So click on that. And now I'm going to go into custom fields. And I'm going to add this one called styles variations. Nope. That's another generic child. Uh, styles. That's what I want. That is a multivariant custom field that I created again in this uh, section earlier. Um, so now what I'm going to do, use my custom label, and I'm going to call this color temperature. I'm going to add the two choices that we have. So we have warm white and natural white. And I have to track my time. There we go. Um, okay. Perfect. Those are our two choices. All right, now I'm going to show you something. We save that, and now if I go back to the front end here and my products, I 
Here's my parent product. Now I'm going to click on that MR16. Now it's offering me color temperature option, which is awesome, but when I click on that, nothing happens. So that's frustrating. That's because there's one more thing we have to do. So here we are back in the back end here, custom fields. We've already added those color temperatures. Now what I have to do is scroll down and see there's another option there to add a child product. So I've got to add two children. This is where we get into like children of children because this is a child product, but now we have two options here. There we go. We have warm white and we have natural white. So I've created that now. They have the same SKU number. So I can just copy and paste that. Perfect. And now I'm going to save that and close it. And now if I go back to the front end and I refresh, I click on, I'm, I've selected the MR6 spotlight. And now I have the two options to choose from, which is great because it shows our customers all the options that they can pick from when they're picking these bulbs. And that's how you combine child products with multivariants.